Good evening, everybody. How are you? My name is Sean Laurie, a.k.a. Veteran Guy. If you've never heard of me or don't know what I do, I'm going to tell you that right here in this video before I get into the addiction part. First, I want to give a big shout out to Fight Addiction Now. The things you guys do are amazing. You guys are spreading awareness. You guys are helping uh, addicts and you are spreading the message. And I just got to tell you, thank you very much and thank you for sharing my story. So before I get into it, I want to tell you a little bit about what I do and who I am. Again, I am AKA Veteran Guy. I am a two-time combat veteran. I uh, struggle with PTSD and depression and anxiety and substance abuse. However, I beat all that. And I explain to you later on how I did that. Um, I still struggle with PTSD, obviously, and depression and stuff every now and then. But I found many coping mechanisms that really work. And uh, so basically what I do now is I help veterans with PTSD and self, uh, self-defeating self behaviors, uh, anxiety, depression, substance abuse, uh, low self-esteem. And uh, I turn around and try to help you get back into your life again. Okay? We face, we cope, and then we transform, okay? So many veterans get out of the military, whether you just got out of combat, whether you just got out of the military, you served 10, 20, 5 years, whatever, you know? So many veterans get out and we lose purpose again. We have no more, we have no more meaning of life, you know? We, we think our life is over, you know? You're having job issues, you're having women issues, or husband issues, or drug issues, and alcohol, and... Uh, probably in jail or whatever it is, you know, it just seems like every time we get out of the military, for a lot of us, our life just goes straight down the drain and uh, we lose purpose. That's the biggest part. We lose purpose and we lose fulfillment. And then I turn around and I'm helping you get that fulfillment back, show you that you didn't lose purpose, that your purpose is still there, that there's a lot for you to still do. And uh, if you listen to a lot of my videos and my upcoming videos, I'm going to be teaching you guys a lot of that stuff. So that's a little bit about who I am and what I do. Now, the way it all started was in 2010, I had destroyed my ACL and my meniscus. It was a complete tear. So I had to do a reconstructive surgery, uh, which caused me to get on painkillers, which was Percocets. And it was downhill from there. You know, I, uh, I went two years straight on the Percocets at Fort Gordon. Uh, when I finally got out of the military, I went to the VA. They cut me off. And... I was already an addict at that point, so I started buying them on the streets. At that time, I was taking Xanaxes and opiates. Um, I, I had no purpose. I had no life. I had no nothing. I was a, I was a, I would call a low life man. I, I, I did had nothing. I wasn't doing anything. I was destroying my life. I was destroying my family, and I never seen it. I just kept going and kept going and kept going because in my mind, me getting high was keeping me happy. Like I was so down and so depressed that I that I just wanted to get high to live. And that's what I thought I had to do. However, I tried to get help. I got help a couple times and I tried to get better. And, and I always end up doing the same thing again, right back to the same old stuff. Um, it was destroying me. It was destroying my mind. It was destroying my soul. It was destroying my family. I just, I was a miserable, miserable person. I lost a brother back in 2016 to suicide. And that also destroyed me. Well, after ODing a few times and, and me almost facing death again, I last year, 2018, I really started doing research, started realizing that, you know, we're losing 22 veterans every day to suicide, and I wanted to make a difference. But how can I make a difference if I'm not even doing anything for myself? That's the number one rule. You have to help yourself before you help anybody else. So you know what? I looked at myself, I looked at my family, and I said, you know what? I know it's going to hurt. I know it's going to suck, but you know what? I'm going to get help. I'm going to treatment. I'm going to do what I got to do to get better. I had the willpower, I had the mindset, and I was ready to do it. So I did. I went and detoxed for seven days, got out, went to rehab, started doing uh, outpatient stuff, going and doing all the things I had to do. Here it is, 11 months later. Next year will be a year. Next month will be a year that I've been clean and sober. No alcohol, no drugs. So the point is, I did it. And I am so proud of myself. And I know you guys can do it. You can do it. Once you get the mindset, once you get the willpower, once you tell yourself that you're done with it and you want change, you can do it. You can do it, and I believe in you. So, again, that's my story, man. It's really short, simple, but that's how it went, man. I was an opiate addiction for eight and a half years, and here I am now talking to you and helping veterans. So, thank you guys for 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 listening to me and i want to say thank you to fight addiction now you guys do an amazing work for the things you guys do and spreading awareness for and helping addiction addicts and just the things you do thank you so much and for sharing my story